Hi, this is Julie from New Horizons 123, and I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to use a really cool video creator called NVIDIA. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use the free version, which has a lot of functionality, but it is somewhat limited, um, if, particularly if you want to download the video. I use the upgraded version, but I just want to give you an idea of how to create videos to see if you like it, and perhaps you might want to purchase it as well. So we're going to start by signing up because it's free. I'm going to sign up with Google. Choose my account. And here we're taking it to an area where there are an awful lot of templates. So many that it's overwhelming. So I recommend that to narrow down the number of templates so you can easily choose which one you want to use. To start with the filter aspect ratio, let's choose landscape. For the type, let's choose promo. And then for the industry, let's choose technology. And as you can see, that's narrowed it down to 157, which is still a lot, but you could scroll through them pretty quickly to get an idea of whether you want to use them or not. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use the YouTube monetization listicle. If you hover over it, you'll notice that it'll play the video for you so you can get an idea of what it is. So let's select that video. When you select that video, it'll play out as exactly as the template is. So we're going to click on use the template. Now once that loads, you'll notice on the top here, it says the browser is not fully compatible with NVIDIA. I use Firefox as my default browser, and I often forget when I'm creating a video with this product, and I'll start out on Firefox, and then I realize, uh-oh, I'm just using Google Chrome, and then I'll switch over to Google Chrome. So I highly recommend that when you get started, you start on Google Chrome so you get the full functionality of the browser being completely compatible. When you open, you first open it up, you're going to notice a timeline on the bottom here, three things across the top. There's something called the storyboard, the editor, which is what we're in now, that's why it's highlighted, and collaborate. If you want to collaborate with other team members, you can invite them to the same project in this way. You can collaborate in real time. In the editor, you can play the video and it'll play exactly as it is before you customize it. Let's stop that. Look over here at the elements. If you click on each one of these elements, it's going to show you exactly where it is inside the video. See that? And let's do that one. Okay, now let's just let's just say we don't want that. We don't want those three dots. We've click we've clicked on it in the elements menu. It's highlighted over here, and I'm just going to click delete. That's how you get rid of it. But wait a minute. Why well, I changed my mind and I want it back. Well, here's my favorite button of all time called undo, and it puts it right back. So what we're going to do is keep this template pretty much as it is, and the only thing we're going to change is we're going to change the three different ways to make money just to show you the, the easiest way to customize a template as opposed to changing a whole bunch of stuff and getting confusing. So in order to change the text, you have to click on storyboard. When you click on storyboard, you'll notice up here there's a, a storyboard. When you, were in et, when you were in the editor mode, that was not there. So the only way to change the text is to go into the storybook story mode storyboard mode and you'll see the script. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention to you is up here under projects, you can name the project. So we can call this three ways to it's easier to find it later to make money. Wish I could type money on YouTube. Okay. Now, when you want to change the text, you choose the slide you want to change it on. And we're not going to change the title, so that's slide number one. We're going to change slide number two. So let's click inside there. And we're going to change Earn with Ads. I like that better than Kickstart Your Journey because it stands out more. So we're going to change Earn with Ads 
to join the YouTube affiliate program. And the way you do that is you come up here, you're on the second slide, and we want to change earn with ads. So we're going to just erase that and paste in our new title. Now, I don't like the look of click start your journey for this particular template, so I'm just going to get rid of it. There you go, it's gone. Now you could also move this around if you want to, if you wanted to put it under here instead, or up here where it was. Let's put it here just because it looks nicer. Now let's go to the third slide, because we're going to change start with merch to become an affiliate marketer. And that's up in here. And we're going to get rid of perfect for a, a small follower base just because it doesn't make sense. Let's delete all that. There you go. Now the third slide, which is actually the thir third slide that we're going to edit, which is actually side, slide number four, is we're going to change look for sponsors to offer memberships. Now look for sponsors is the second thing here, the second text. We're going to get rid of recommended products to your fans. And if you take a look at this, you'll notice obviously that offer memberships is not sitting inside the blue square. It's easy enough to fix. I'd like to fix it. I'm just going to move the text out of the way. I'm going to move the blue box up and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that my text will fit inside of it because I think it looks nicer that way. Now it's still a little tiny bit sticking off the sides, but guess what? If you come right up here under font, it's 69. I'm going to change the font to 65. I know that didn't work out so well. So let's go put that back. Let's undo that. I don't know why that happened, but that's okay. So let's put it back where it was and let's go back and make the box a little bit bigger. What probably happened there, and I don't want to go into it in this video, is there's um, layers. So we probably ended up putting the offer memberships behind the box. So I just put it back and made the box larger. Now if we go back to the editor and we go to the beginning of the video, let's put it over here. You'll notice they've already chosen the music for you, by the way. That's down here. There's also ways to edit that. That's quite simple as well, but we're not going to do that right now in this tutorial. So let's go to the beginning of the video and let's play it. We can see our changes. Can we change it to join the YouTube Partner Program? an affiliate marketer and offer membership and then the end is just their, their way of closing out subscribe for more success that's not a problem we can certainly leave that as is now if you wanted to you could simply delete that slide just come over here and hit delete but wait oh, you want it back undo put it back in now one of the main downfalls of the free version is that you cannot download the video. You can share it with other members if you want to. We don't want to do that. Oh, I left something out. It's very important. I'm sorry. Over here, this is something you can do with the free version. You can add your logo to all of the scenes and that's really, really neat. So what you do first is you click on the logo here it's going to take you to your desktop where you're going to upload your logo and it's going to put it in your uploads field and it puts it right in you see that now what I don't think it put it in all of them so we're going to check there yes it did it put it in every single scene which is what you want so now like I said unfortunately the only way to download a video that you make in NVIDIA is to upgrade. The upgrade is pretty reasonable. You can upgrade for I believe it's $15 a month. So you could just you can make a bunch of videos 
See if you like them. Play around with all the different tools they have. I particularly like the AI um, to speech function because it puts in artificial intelligent voiceovers that sound pretty darn good. So that was that's the that's the main downfall. But make, play around with it. Make a month, you know, a bunch of different videos. And if you like it, give it a shot for a month. You have nothing to lose. But again, you can come in here and just watch each video that you make. Make sure that you like them. And then if you go over to your profile, you can look at my projects. And you'll see there's several of them because I've done this a couple of different times. But they will all appear here. Like I'm going to get rid of this one. Delete. But every project that you create in here, in the, with the free version, you'll be able to go back in, review it again, make changes to it, and if you decide it's something that you really want, then you can upgrade for that month or longer and continue and use in video. I love it. I love it. I think it makes really, really good videos. I do like the AI voiceovers and I love the templates and it's one of my go-to products. So I hope that's helped you a little bit. And if you have any other questions, visit my blog at newhorizons123.com. Thanks.